tell you without any fear of contradiction that unless we stop the killings that are happening now in the name of banditry the country will pay dearly in the long term we are not only profiling cases of senior people even small people like the young boy who is uh, said to have been murdered uh, mysteriously which I have discussed with the DCI this morning and action has been taken. Uh, I want to thank the DCI for very professional and quick action because that matter now will be taken over by the homicide unit from the DCI headquarters, which is dispassionate from the local, the, local, the local issues in case there was any collusion. And well at that, let me say as follows. It is the policy of this administration to make sure that all officers of government exercising their mandate in accordance with the law will be protected and defended by the government. At the same time, all officers of government who misuse the freedoms, the privileges of office to harass or to hurt other people, the government will, on behalf of the complaining public, isolate such officers, punish them, and deal with them in a manner that serves as an example. I want to assure you, as the chair of this committee, let me tell you, Chair, and CS, we have a very serious members uh, of this committee. It's only that today we are five here. We are nine in number. Some of them are out of the country. But we are expecting a gender professor anytime soon. So it will be, will be, will be a, a number that is reasonable. We are very committed. We gave you the assurance when we visited you in your office, when we had a, when we paid a courtesy call to you, and we will continue to work very closely. In terms of policy, we are sure. Any policy from the ministry, we will take up in the Senate and ensure it is done. Legislative intervention that you feel we need to do, again, we will be more than... But if you ask me, as your Minister for Security, what faces us in those areas is that the heart of the survival of Kenya. Maybe not in the immediate, but if we let that nonsense continue, this country 20, 30 years today might find it uh, impossible to exist. There will be total breakdown of law and order. So, Chair, between this afternoon and tomorrow morning, I will be announcing very drastic measures. And I will not announce them from Rivasha or from Nairobi. I announce them from the combat zone. Very drastic measures. So let, you know, let the other things continue. They give me the job to deliver what have been asked to deliver. We have gazetted parts of six counties which we consider disturbed and dangerous. We started an operation on 13th of February. Over the last three weeks, Honorable Chair, members, we have been able to deploy adequately, both uh, personnel and equipment, they are on the ground. We may need to upscale that process, but at the moment our concern is not about the numbers in terms of deployment. We are okay for now, but if need be, this country has enough security officers 
too much any threat that the country faces. We had uh, security challenges. Terrorism, in our view, continues to be an existential threat to our country's uh, democratic existence. We have managed to keep terrorists at bay, and we haven't had any major incident lately. But I want to confirm to you, Mr. Chairman and members, that we have thwarted numerous serious attempts by terrorists to hurt us. And I want to pay homage and applaud our officers, especially security officers who are helping the country in the counter-terrorism and other complex crimes uh, effort. The kind of sacrifices that they have made, we as a country can never pay them. Some of them have lost their lives in the process of trying to deter, detect, and thwart terror. I have been instructed by His Excellency the President to deploy all the available resources that this country has to make sure that the operation that we are having succeeds. I want to assure you, Honorable Chair and members, the operation will succeed. And I want to assure the people of Kenya that they should not be distracted by the small maneuvers and antics that the criminals are displaying. These are the last tricks of people who have been used to impunity. They will not do anything different like that than, than what they are doing. Yes. And therefore, we must make banditry part of the history of Kenya. The bandits who started as, uh, as cultural thieves you know, thieves of livestock for cultural reasons because from the literature and the reports available initially it started as a as a as a practice influenced by the cultural pride in robbing another community of livestock so that you can have more livestock and the livestock is, uh, is, 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 is golden and, and it's used even in cultural practices, including payment of dowry and things like this. Over time, that cultural uh, aspect has been lost. Uh, it was replaced by commerce and um, politics. And as a country, it might be a bit costly to arrest this situation if it escalates beyond where we are at the moment. I have studied what other countries have gone through, Mr. Chairman, and I can...